former Sitam Bishop Dr. David Oginde says he's up to the task following his nomination by President William Ruto as the chairman of the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission. Speaking exclusively to Hope Media, Oginde is poised to take over the ESC chairmanship from retired Archbishop Elidu Abukala, assured that he will diligently work according to the law to ensure a corruption-free country. Dickens Luvanda begins our bulletin with the following report. Dr. David Oginde, the former crisis the answer ministry sits and presiding bishop, and who is the current Evangelical Alliance of Kenya EAK chairman, says he is best suited to lead a corruption free Kenya. There are many things that amaze me. But Dr. Oginde, who exclusively spoke to Hope TV, acknowledged the difficult task before him and that if Parliament approves his appointment as the chairman of the Ethics and Anti Corruption Commission, he will do everything within his means to help the country in terms of eradicating corruption. This is a position that was uh, advertised, people applied, and I was one of the people who applied. And uh, I was happy that through the interview, I was shortlisted among the people to be presented to the president and yeah it was i didn't know that it would go this far the bishop emeritus whose nomination came on the recommendation of the public service commission plc will take over the chairmanship of the integrity and anti-graft agency following the retirement of archbishop dr elido bukala who served a full six-year term as the ESC chairman taking over from philip kinisu who stepped down in 2017 following massive corruption allegations we have a big God, uh, so we, we are going to fight whatever is there. I don't see it as a fight because there is nobody in this country who doesn't like integrity. There is nobody in this country who does not appreciate things being done in the right way. So we don't have to fight over it. It is a matter of helping people to understand the contribution that can be made if each and every one of us operated in a manner of uh, values and integrity. So that's my hope that we can change the minds of the Kenyans. The former immediate Pan-African Christian University Park Vice Chancellor's nomination comes after a competitive recruitment process, outsmarting former Makwini Governor Kivuta Kibuana, Senior Council Charles Kanjama, among other candidates. For us, it is not a matter of people. It's a matter of uh, what is best for the country. So whatever is best for the country, whether it is on the left or on the right, we follow truth where it goes. So because otherwise, if you keep following people, you find that they change. Politicians change, and I said that during the BBI conference. They change. Tomorrow is this person, the other day is the other person, and if you keep following politicians, you'll be lost. So looking at what is the best thing for this country, and let's all do that good thing, and the nation will move forward. Mm -hmm. In the letter of appointment, the head of public service Felix Koske said Bishop Oginde is highly respected at home and abroad for his strong reputation in forthrightness, integrity and his tireless efforts toward the promotion of ethics and virtue in the society. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. Asked for a comment to Kenyans at the incoming ESC chair, this is what Oginde said. Well, I'm not incoming yet. I'm not yet uh, <laughs> approved by Parliament. So we'll say that when the Parliament uh, does its work, and if they think I can do it, then we can tell Kenyans what we need to do. Okay. Dr. Oginda is expected before the National Assembly for voting, after which members of Parliament will hold a debate about him before a report is delivered to President Ruto for formal appointment. And for the President to nominate me to be a person to be considered by parliament to head ESCC. It is not an easy task. Deacon Sylvanda, Hope TV News.